Hit at bats. There's a fly ball into right field and it's hit a ton. That is deep. That is gone. Given spring's late arrival, you could be forgiven if thoughts of spending an evening at the ballpark don't jump immediately to mind. In fact, the Winnipeg Gold Eyes themselves are relishing in that they don't have to be at home to start their season. The fish are in the midst of a 14-game road trip, including four exhibition and 10 regular season games. It's going to drop for a base hit. It's something that we asked the uh, American Association when we joined. Since there are the teams down in the south, it would be better for us. If we're going to go there at some point during the season, why not go in, in early, late May when we know that the weather could be hit and miss here, but it's pretty standard down there usually 28, 29 degrees every day. So we've scheduled things where we work our way down. Doesn't get it! Christian Guerrero couldn't make the play! The road trip is particularly well-timed this year as the weather in Winnipeg wreaked havoc on the first days of training camp. It's tough for Rick and the coaches to, to see what they've got. They've got decisions to make, and it's, it's really hard on them to make decisions when they can't see the guys out on the field. There's only so much you can ascertain from seeing them in the cage hitting batting practice. That's not really a way of making decisions. So it was good to get down there and uh, play a couple of exhibition games in Lincoln, play two more in Kansas City. So he'll get a real feel of what he's got. There's a little flare the opposite way. Field boss Rick Forney has to have his roster down to 22 players in time for the regular season opener set for May 15th in Amarillo, Texas. After that, the team will face the Laredo Lemurs and the Lincoln Salt Dogs before returning home. Collier says he's hoping for another successful home opener and season. I know our, our ticket staff and our corporate staff have done a great job of selling tickets for that home opener. Just like last year, we had over 7,000. A lot of other teams are, are kind of scared when they have a home opener on a Monday. They prefer a Thursday or Friday to get better crowds, but I think with the job our staff does during the off season, it could be Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, it doesn't matter. Right over the Red River, the high fly ball to left. Add to that, Shaw Park will be home to this year's American Association All-Star Game. Uh, we're thrilled to be able to show off the ballpark, show off the city to uh, the rest of the American Association. Some of the teams haven't been to Winnipeg yet and some of the, the uh, executive from the other teams, they've all heard what a great place Winnipeg is and Shaw Park. So now they'll get a first, first-hand chance to see it on July 28th and 29th. It all adds up to what should be another great year for one of the most successful independent franchises in all of baseball. And don't forget, Shaw TV will be the television home for Gold Eye Games. It all gets underway with the home opener May 26th as the fish welcome Sioux City to town. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Al Foster. A towering, majestic blast.